So I've seen a few people making these quadcopters out of plywood and pine square timber. So I reckon they fly pretty well and they make a good FPV platform. So I'm going to make up this H quad frame. It's, uh, the plywood's about 500 long, so I'll make these appropriately length so that you get a, a proper X configuration and uh, we'll see how she flies I guess something to do a bit interesting, a bit different see how we go so all I'm doing to start with is glue on the two end parts this is 12 centimeters wide it's going to be quite a wide base so you can fit lots of stuff on it anyway might be probably a bit bigger than other ones I've seen but I've got you know lots of other copters or quadcopters that don't have a lot of space on them so I really want one that's got a lot of room down the central plane to put gear so I'll just glue these in, make sure they're square, make sure the distance is all the right at the end and we can cut off the ends appropriately later but I might even leave a bit of extra length on the end so that the motors aren't screwed right out to the end so they're in about here somewhere just so there's a bit of extra strength out the end I'll glue them in place okay so glue's dried on those bits pretty well so next part is to cut this one to length, we need to cut another one to length then glue them in. Once I've done that, I'm going to cut in a couple of little cross braces here and here. Have this section open with a screwable plate and just glue in a top section, square section. Just glue in a, a square section here. Another bit of ply just to make it a nice strong double sided part on each of the ends. Right, so they're both glued in. We'll let them dry, a bit of weight to hold them in place, and we'll come back and do the couple little cross pieces. Alright, so here's the, the basic frame finished. It's uh, a little bit of glue still wet in the corner there overnight, but I've put a bit of glue all the way around the edges just to give it a bit of extra strength. Mark the centre location. So from end to end is 50 centimeters, so center to center is about 48 centimeters. So from the center out to each motor, 24 centimeters gives a 48 centimeter distance between each motor, and basically it's about a, a 70 centimeter motor to motor diagonal. So it's not a small unit, and the beauty of the extra distance in here is I can mount the KK hard case in the middle. I'm going to screw the plate on the top. It'll leave this whole plate available for putting the battery on at any location so you can get the balance right. So it's actually worked out really well. <laughs> 